<laughs> well, well, you look at that. She looks wonderful. What's up, big YouTube? Excalibur here. In today's video, we're gonna be going over uh, my three least favorite characters in Tekken history. Hey, and yes, it's, this is might be a rare video uh, to make. Hey, because <laughs> you know I've been playing Tekken ever since. Well, pretty much childhood life. Like, but unfortunately, you. Hey, since I've been playing the game as throughout the entire decades, I want to showcase y'all who is my least fav my three least favorite characters in Tekken in Tekken history. Hey, you guys already know who, and you guys might guess it who. If you've been with me long enough, you might understand. But right now, let's get up to it. Okay, so you guys might wonder uh, which character you might hate. Okay, hey, you might be wondering, oh, I don't like Panda or the uh, Kuma, the Bears, or uh, or Junkazama, uh, Nina, uh, the Mishimas, uh, Reina, uh, Reina, Azucena, etc., etc., uh, or even C Fox or How Wrong. But here's the thing, and this might be a rare thing to say about uh, say about it in this game. I could not hate a single character in this game. It's like everybody here is so base as crap, bro. Like I will tell you, like your base, your base, Paul Phoenix is you know, Chuck Norris base, you know, Raven base, you know, John Wick base, you know, Sexy Mishima base, antagonist base, you know, protagonist base, you know, Mama Jun Kazama base, you know, she base. She base, Dragon All is base, Fang is base, How Wrong is base, Martial Law is Giga Chad base, The Drip Master base, etc. etc. However, if we can get a trip back to the original Tekkens, you know which character is my least favorite character in the entire game, game or in Tekken history, you may say. But I will. They give out an audible mentions in the video. We're just gonna have to go back to Tekken 7. All right, you guys already surprised or not surprised to know it. It is Craig Marduk. One of my honorable mentions for this video, Craig Marduk, basically a scrub killer. He does it. He does a huge, huge damage. Is that if you if you're not good at your throw break tackle. Yeah. Oh boy, you're in a world of guessing wrong state. Yeah, state. Yeah, while you're being tackled, you're pretty. Yeah, you pretty much has to take a guess. Is he gonna go for a two, or is he gonna go for one on his left arm or right arm, or is he gonna go one plus two while you're if you're attack, yeah, while you're down in the tackle state? Hey, and don't get me started about rage drive. I know. I know it is a big, big damage. A huge guess, guess, guess. I guess this is one of the most uh, formidable is one of the most formidable little characters in the game and I'm surprised that nobody <laughs> nobody wants Craig Marta uh, coming back because you know <laughs> if Craig Marta shows up there's a higher chance of you might want to plug or might rage quit because of that reason so yeah if Craig Marta is on uh, the, the first honorable mention no for clarifications it is not Heihachi Mishima I'm telling you it is actually Jinpachi Mishima. Like I said, I'm not really an editor around here to show a footage of Jinpachi Mishima, but Jinpachi Mishima is one of the most godly forsaken abomination <laughs> ever to fight against. And sure, his hitbox was big. He's actually bigger than uh, bigger than Heihachi, uh, but uh, but it's nothing compared to what uh, hey, Jinpachi can do. Jinpachi Mishima is playable well, during the Tekken Titan of a two era, so. <laughs> Without a doubt, he does a big, big, huge chunk of damage. It's one of the scariest characters that you ever face. It's like struggling against him in Tekken 5 DR or or Tekken 5 as a final boss of Tekken. Heihachi Mishima's his, you know, his father. It's a, there's a 100% reason why that Heihachi Mishima locked Jinpachi Mishima up just to take control of this Mishima Zaibatsu. Ew, boy, Heihachi wasn't, it wasn't a doing it too hot right there. 
Yeah, because in the end, if Jim Patchy was the most monstrous uh, character ever. Yeah, especially when dealing with unblockable fire uh, fireballs and everything, yeah, and everything about it. So, yeah, so yeah, it's not Hey Haji for final clan. Uh, for final clarification, it's Jim Patchy Machine. It's just the way he fights is feels like a final boss. Uh, boss from Tekken Five, and uh, that gives you nightmares about fighting him. Uh, so yeah, that's my last audible mention. This. Etc. Etc. So right now, we pick three characters that are. We're gonna pick three characters that is uh, my three most disliked characters in Tekken history. <laughs> yes. Another clarification is not Panda. No, it, the character name is Gone. Gone is one of the. You know, Gone is one of the weird dinosaur character it's kind of like it's kind of like alex yeah, for example like roger juniors yeah, but a dinosaur in tekken 3. Yeah, gone was introduced during tekken 3 yeah, but it's a very small dinosaur like it, like you can't even use high moves or even you know, or even some of the mid moves because how how small hitbox he has as a character he really yeah, he really is 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 like a cheap bowling ball gone character in ways that I'm just like why does this a character exist in the first place how did he got into Tekken for some odd re you know, reason and what holy name has a small hitbox of a reptile uh, he has of a Miguel range like seriously it's <laughs> I don't like I don't like it uh, gone and I'm glad he's only appearing in Tekken 3 which means <laughs> who could be more Cringier than gone, to be honest. Lucky One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, yeah. Yes, sing along. You guys already know it. It's Lucky Chloe. Hey, poor Eddie Gordo fans uh, who are three, 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 three masters uh, will regret seeing in Lucky Glowy to be ever introduced in Tekken in, in Tekken Seven uh, as a newcomer. In my opinion, Lucky Glowy is the most cringiest character uh, to uh, to even look at her as a chance. It's like fighting against a person that is from High School Musical classroom. I'm kid you. I kid you not. You might say, haha, she might have some cheap moves or something like that to you. No, it's not the way she fights. It's not It's not the way she designed. It's just the way she is as a character. I'm telling you, there's nothing more cringier than fighting against you know, Lucky Chloe. Yeah, sure, I understand her movesets. I've been fighting against her for a long time, but unfortunately, I just hope she doesn't come back because how cringy she is and the less of an impact of the story she came she had into in Tekken 7. But still, I just currently feel bad for Eddie Gordos. I'm very sorry. Okay, we're back at Tekken 8. So, pretty much, nothing is more cringier than Lucky Chloe, right? Right? Ladies and gentlemen, my least favorite character in Tekken history is Mokujin. Mokujin, and by far, is responsible for opening up my right hand, decided to lab every single character in the game before I even hop online, so just so that I can counter Mokujin that hard. Uh, uh, for those who are new, uh, you might ask, hey, is Mokujin playable uh, back then? Yes, well, Mokujin was playable back uh, back then in Tekken Tatuma 2. The gimmick about this character is that no, it doesn't have its own moves. It learns from everyone that it can transform into having different stances. For example, Mokujin can have a martial law stance. Yeah, stance. If it moves like martial law from his idling, then that's martial law. Huh. You have to master every single character in the game in order to use this character as a gimmick. Yeah, the, yeah fun. Imagine if Mokujin has a stance of Craig Marduk and start tackling you, or have a stance of Jinpachi Mishima. Yep, yep, Mokujin is responsible for everything for me to open up my right hand, start slapping practice mode, and 
and make sure that the, I learned the entire roster before I ever encounter Mokujin back in Tekken 6. Oh yeah, the old Tekken 6 days where I encounter seven Mokujins at the same swinging time. Yeah, yeah, unleashing my saltiness on his character or forever being used. And I'm glad I did lab every single character in the game. Because right now, there's nobody ever, ever in my bright mind would take Mokujin for a tournament and, and win. Unless your name is me. me. <laughs> so, yes, those are my top three most disliked characters in Tekken history. Me. Two of them are honorable mentions. Two that I mentioned that is honorable mentions is, is Marduk and and Jinpachi Mishima, but both of them are based, so there, so there you have it. Yeah, but anyways, hopefully this video is helping. If it sucks, it sucks. I don't care. But yeah, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm out of here. Hi. Cringe.